No time for part four to start. Okay, well, I guess we could just like drip dry or you know, could shake it out doggy style. Wow, you really know how to talk to a girl, don't you? <laughs> Look, you can't just pretend that it didn't happen. Oh, but I can because you see, oh, help, help, I'm, I'm drowning and I, I need a big, strong, not at all insecure man to come save me. <laughs> <laughs> See his face. <laughs> okay. What's this? A female in need? Fear not, fragile thing, for Hurricane Jake is here. Cannonball! Oh, oh, oh. Cold, cold, cold. Oh, cold. Oh. Hurricane Jake. It's not the promise land, but I'm sure this room is planned. Oh, okay. Okay, now you're gonna get it. See? Hey, bitch! Oh, stop being uh rough. Dick move. Look, I don't want this to end. <laughs> I'd be happy to stay out here all summer, but I think we'd get a little prune. Oh, you know what I mean, like, like this. Jacob, I had a great summer with you. Well, it doesn't just have to be the summer. <laughs> okay, oh, look, how about this? Um, <clears throat> if I can do a backflip off of here, you let me come visit you, okay? How about that? Right. Hey! Where are you going? Come on! Oh no. Are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> Emma! Jacob! Over here! Did you hear that? What? Uh, it was like a, like a scream. And it, it sounded like Abby, but like not the good kind of a scream. I can't hear you. Okay, look, just, just hold on. I'm gonna go check it out. What? Seriously? Oh my goodness. Abby barely made it. Thank God she's still alive. Now all we gotta do is find freaking Nick. If he's still alive, man. Could be dead, I don't know. That was some mighty fine social disruption there, Caitlin, I have to say. Ah, or was it just the nudge that Abby needed? You're an evil genius. Who do you think is going to make the first move? Nick or Abby? Ooh, good cue. My bet's on either. I don't know. Nick's got the beast in him. Uh, if by beast, you mean some sort of mild-mannered baby deer. Hey, don't let that cute, preppy aesthetic fool you. It's like a steel barbecue grill under that shirt. So, you noticed that too, huh? So, what do you guys want to do now? We can keep playing. Yeah? Just the three of us? Alright, Dylan. Truth or... I... I sound like Abby. Oh my gosh. Uh... We gotta help her. <laughs> Wait, where did it come from? This way. Come on. Abby! Please! Nick! Help him!
Where's Nick? I... Go after Nick! Go! Okay. I've got this. That shotgun's got a hell of a spread. Be careful. Okay, that's my bad. <laughs> that is my bad. Please tell me that was that. Oh, oh, I see him through the bushes. Oh, 
Oh, please. Please, man, just... Just let me down, okay? Just... Don't hurt me, please. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck are you doing? God, son of a bitch. Oh, what are you doing? Shh, quiet. Helps if you close your eyes. Oh, oh. What are you doing? Shh. Stop. Help. Shh. Help. Tastes bad, don't it? It's for your own good. Where are you off to now, girly? Okay. What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, I think I know what he just did. I think he's preventing Jacob to, to uh, not to attack. You, I mean, well, not, you know, werewolf. Seems like just wolves. a blink and you're back to see me again. So, then, what have we got? It's the star. Stars, stars in the night, sky, beacons of light, dreams of hope, purpose, or a reminder of our insignificance, fear of despair, trust in the light of the star, with it comes clarity, and sometimes proof. Remember, there's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? to it then. Back to Hackett's Quarry. Back to Hackett's Quarry you go. Oh, the fun you'll have. Okay. We're in chapter four right now. It was, I, I, I don't even know what it was. It was so fast, and, and there was a, uh, there was a hunter, and it was just... Oh, Abby. Here. What? Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Oh, uh, can you draw what attacked you? What happened? Animal attack. Where's Abby? He's super out of it, man. We need to know what happened. All right. There was. There was a guy there, but. The hell? What fucking kind of animal does this? Abby? Hey, she, hey, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Because teeth were on top of me. I think it was a bear. A full-size bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I, I thought we don't get bears right here. Oh, fuck. Look at that. Oh, oh shit. That black stuff? That's that's infection. That's And it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. Sorry. You're okay. It's okay. Fuck that. 
We should amputate. Excuse me? We should cut it off before the infection spreads. What? Why would we do that? I don't know, man. Look at that black stuff. What What do you think it is? Do I look like a doctor? Use it! Sort of. Brian, what if it's Jacob or Emma? What if it's not? Be careful. It was probably nothing. Yeah. But is it gone? Yeah, you better run. Very brave. All right. So, uh, Lodge is sounding pretty good right about now, yeah? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't shoot, don't shoot! I'm here to save you. Holy shit. Nick. Is he okay? Nick and Abby were attacked. In the woods. Hey, does anybody have any dry clothes? I'm, I'm fucking freezing. All our bags are still in the minivan. Oh, fuck, of course they are. So wait, what happened to you? Right, right, okay, so. Like I was saying, okay? I heard Abby screaming, so I came running. Like, as fast as I could. From the lake? Yeah, and then, and then out of nowhere, I stepped into this, like... I don't know, like a, like a booby trap? Like some sort of hunter's trap? The goddamn thing snared my leg, hoisted me halfway into the tree, just... Zoop! So I'm hanging there, half naked, and then this guy with, like, a fucking machete comes right up to me, looks me right in the fucking eyes. But I taught that guy a lesson, booked it right the fuck out of there. We gotta get Nick and Abby back to the lodge. Like, right now. Uh, hard agree. Also, why are you covered in what I hope is strawberry jelly? Oh, yeah, no, um, I'm pretty sure it's blood. It was this guy with like a, he had like a bottle thing. I don't know, dude, it's like a really long story. Ew. Yeah, no, it's super fucked up. I gotta go get Emma. Uh, excuse me. Hey, I need this, okay? It's not safe out there. Dude, we gotta protect Nick and Abby. Yeah, and I need to save Emma, all right? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. You don't even know if you're in trouble. Are you trying to piss me off? No, I'm trying to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. Yeah, I don't think she's your girlfriend, dude. What? Get... here guys you're acting like pricks both of you jacob we're keeping this nick and abby are injured we need protection there's someone around here <laughs> ryan sorry this is bullshit make sure she's safe if she's on the island she's definitely fine and what risk another uh, run-in with captain deliverance no thanks okay there's probably another boat by the zip line either way i can make it to the island from there we need to get back to the lodge. Try to get help. How? Nick can't walk properly. Yeah, I have an idea. A wheelbarrow. Aha. Okay, let's see what tonight brings. 
Okay, here's a riddle for you. What's got two thumbs? What's got two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark? This fool, well, one thumb, one available thumb. Okay. And it was here, on a strange, uninhabited island that this brave young soul found herself. Okay, full disclosure, I've suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a tree house over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing. Not that I wanna go back because I don't, but even if I did, I can't because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. You know what? Sorry, I'm venting. Oh, explore venting. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers! Okay. And this is the meeting shelter. It's a shelter where you meet at. Okay, I'm trying really hard to make this interesting, but sometimes a thing just is what it is. I think I've made my point. Which way I supposed to go? No prizes for guessing what these are. Can't say that I've used them. A little too au naturel for me, TBH. You know, I've never thought about where the waste goes. Oh. Oh, please, God, no. Okay, we're gonna just go ahead and ignore that. Yeah. Wait, no. So this island is like an unexcavated hell? part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child. It was all sad, because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why, why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all bluff about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look. A metaphor in the narrative, by mean a fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life? I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. I don't like that sound. Hmm. Because you know what else? I was really excited 
for the next part of my life, you know? I mean, the summer was great, but what's next? I mean, come on. I know by the time I post this, Hackett's Quarry will just be but a distant memory, and I know it's just one night, and you have to make the most of all your opportunities, and yada, yada, yada. I guess I just don't want to have to settle for what's around me, you know? Abby sees me as this confident person, but really? I'm just desperate to stay afloat in a world where everyone wants to be different. Probably like maybe the next 27 minutes I'm gonna cut this off. This is actually kind of fun. I feel like this is the first time I've been alone all summer. Kind of like it. I guess that kind of reinforces the whole Jacob thing. I know the plan was for him to come get me, but now that I'm by myself, I kind of like it. Sorry, Jacob, if you're watching, nothing personal. It's a me thing. We're cool, right? Yeah, we're cool. I mean, who knows? Maybe in 50 years we'll bump into each other and be flooded with fond memories of that one amazing summer at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. And that spark that changed our lives forever. Then we'll be like... 70 year old lovers or whatever and have crazy walker sex <laughs> hey it could happen only time will tell jakey boy and as they say time makes fools of us all but we will be the oldest sexiest fools there ever were <laughs> until then i gotta do my thing sorry buddy hmm Okay, so... Hmm. Thinking about it, how could this have been Mr. H when he was back at the lodge? Quoth the raven nevermore. The raven follows. I think I'm at the tree house. And let me like look around. See if there's any uh I guess I gotta do this one handed, huh? Yeah, she is very serious with this. That didn't sound great. <laughs> oh, shit. Ah, just thought you should know I am nailing this ladder climbing. Ah. Oh. All right. <laughs> 
This is the luxurious Skyway Treehouse, obviously. Is this the one in that Caitlin took a picture with? I by think a blindfolded she did. man who used only the finest rotting wood, rusty nails, and donkey spit that money could buy. A real Hackett vintage classic. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well, now, that's a fine how do you do. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there. And, oh, look. It seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess it seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one yeah, of the kids I, left I, their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there. But the hell was I that? don't recognize this. Did you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings, or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? There are literally no right answers. I'm gonna open the trap. Psych! I am going to search the bag. The bag it is, and you know what? Screw I'm that. putting some clothes on. This is all you're getting. Pepper spray and a taser. Okay. Fun. Okay, so I think there's something up there, and it is not gonna make me jump. I can promise you that much. Oh God. <sighs> Goodbye, cruel world. The final curtain is calling, and there's no time for an encore. Come on, Emma. Oh, my God. There you go. something
Easy. I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No, no, sorry. I'm just... I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Oh man, I can eat a horse. Well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola. Oh, yuck, I hate granola. <laughs> I suppose you could still freaking walk. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something to eat. You and I are gonna find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yup. We'll come meet you. Copy that. Where are you going? I, 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 I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. Nah. No, no, no. I don't think Nick's injury. Well, that's good news. Yeah. So what now? We gotta call for help. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, yeah, but like, what should I ask for? Like, police? Ambulance? Huh. Uh, cops? Yeah, don't fuck around. There's hunters out there trying to kidnap us. So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And I'll say, help, help. My friends may have been attacked by bears, but maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And then one of them was kidnapped by these hunter guys with blood on their faces, and there may have been shots fired, but not by us, but also maybe by us. And... They cut my friend Jacob down from a tree. Separate incident. Long story. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. Okay. Nine one one. What's wrong? Dead. Well, did you hang up? How could I have hung up? I don't know. You know, maybe you slipped and hung up or something. Do you know how phones work? Yeah, of course. Real phones, not cell phones? Do you know how phones work? Okay, well, you broke it. I did not. <sighs> okay, so this phone's a no-go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let's, let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. I will put it back when we're good and safe and help is on the way. Uh, okay, just careful with it. I'll be fine. Okay. Uh, it's, it's probably the weather. What weather, Ryan? Maybe, maybe it was the bears. Bear. 
And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay, so for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. We should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaks. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's go. Oh, God. Yeah, we should probably leave that with Caitlin. Do you think she really needs it, though? Uh, she needs it just as much as we do. If she's staying in the lodge, we're going out there. You literally just said there might be something dangerous in the lodge. When? Like 20 seconds ago. Okay, sure, but that's because I really wanted the gun. Just give her the gun, man. Uh, all right. You're right. Hey, we'll still have mine. If you're extra nice to me, I'll, I might let you hold it. Don't write a check that your ass can't cash. My ass has got quite the bank account. Am I interrupting something? Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. <laughs> oh, boy. Let me see what happens. Mm. It doesn't work. Damn. time again, is it? Strength. Hmm. It's 
strength can be surprising. Knowing one's own raw power, tapping into it, tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose there are forces at work within us all. And with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. As always, there's more to see. And as always, the choice is yours. Would you like to see more? What the hell? Nick just killed the guy? So it's goodbye again. I'll leave you with this. Remember what who your indeed. friends are. Remember who's looking out for you. Nick? Okay, so it's basically that could be a choice that I could choose. But Nick just killed the guy? What? Hey, I couldn't find anything to eat. The kitchen's pretty cleaned out. This. That was... I don't even know what happened. It was all just a blur. How are you feeling? How are you holding up? I'm... Uh, well, I, I... I'm just happy. You're okay. Are you okay? I'm sorry. I, I just asked you that. I... It's okay. All right, they're off to find a radio or something. What's who? So, just in case. Oh, what happened to the lights? Not sure. Any better? I'm doing okay. Kinda. Wait, are they going to the radio hut? Phone's dead. They're gonna try to send out an SOS or something. We're holding down the fort. Did anybody else hear that? Shh. I thought you said Dylan and Ryan already left. Right, stay here. I'll check it out. We'll be fine. Just be careful. Stay alert. I'm just being very quiet for this scene. Anything could happen. Oh shit.
No sign of him. When you find him, run him. And keep me posted, Bobby. Ooh. This dude got a sniper, my guy. Yo, how the hell you don't see her? That's crazy. He got the gun, he got the gun. That's not good. Oh boy. Hey, so this may not be like the best time per se, but like. What? Yeah, so like I was just, you know, thinking about like the start of summer and when we first met and started camp and well, like now that summer's over and you know is that like the last time we're gonna see each other you know oh, sorry nick what what are you saying hey i'm kind of pouring my heart out here oh, nick I'm, I'm sorry can we talk about this later i'm, I'm really freaked out and it's just not a good time Maybe I was misreading the situation back there, but kind of felt like a little bit more was going to happen. Well, did you want a little bit more to happen? Duh, are you dumb? Hey. Whoa. Sorry. I just mean, of course I wanted it to happen. I just didn't know if you did too. That seems like such a long time ago now. <laughs> You did want it to happen, though. Uh, um, I... You can tell me. Yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> Just saying that because I'm hurt. Nick. <sighs> what is going on out there, Caitlin? We have died. We have died. It's okay, I got this. Oh my god. What happened? Jesus, where's the gun? We gotta get out. No, we have to hide. Quick. Oh yeah, yeah, it used to, Oh yeah, yeah, it used to be more of a actual radio station actually. Um uh, it, you know, I mean it, it is still technically, but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore. Yeah. It's weird actually that there used to be kids with their radio and their oh, God. CD player and everything and you know, nowadays everything we need is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day at camp so that we're not 
distracted by technology. Um, technology, it giveth and it taketh. So is is that something like that you want to go into? Camp radio? No, like uh, DJ or music, or something. Oh, um, yeah. I mean, I like music, but I think I want to major oh, in no. um, quantum physics. Ah. All right. What? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you don't really seem like a science guy. Oh yeah. I mean, you know, not not here. Anyway, let's, let's let's stop right here real quick. Let's stop right here real quick. All right, so we're gonna cut it off right here. You already know. So next time we're gonna go to the next one for part five. And I see you guys. Stay tuned.